But we begin tonight with the funeral for Patrick Leoya. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. You could see the raw emotion in the church as the Leoya family said their goodbyes to the 26-year-old today. Earlier this month, Leoya was shot and killed by a Grand Rapids police officer following a traffic stop. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham was in Grand Rapids for the funeral. He joins us now with the powerful message from civil rights leaders. People came from all over the country to attend this funeral. People who knew Patrick Leoya from the refugee camp in Malawi. He and his family went there after leaving the Congo. But there was also the mother of Eric Garner, or the brother of Stephen Clark, names people may recognize from other police-involved tragedies. Are you telling me that you have decided that a man's life is not worth than some tags on his car. Prior to civil rights activist Reverend Al Sharpton's eulogy for Patrick Leoya, hundreds of people, loved ones, supporters, and local, state, and federal dignitaries filed into Renaissance Church of God in Christ in Grand Rapids to pay their respects. Leoya was shot in the back of the head after a scuffle with a Grand Rapids police officer April 4th following a traffic stop. He leaves behind two young children, siblings, and his parents. Attorney Benjamin Crump, who is representing the Leoya family in civil litigation, says no parent should have to bury their child. They expect their child to bury them, and so it's just devastating, especially when you think about him being killed uh, in this manner by a police officer. Just all of our thoughts and prayers, I think that our entire state and the United States could come together for one day and have nothing but thoughts and prayers to this family. For The officer has not been named. Grand Rapids police say that won't happen unless he's charged. Sharpton criticized that decision and is calling for more accountability. We will stand with good cops. We will stand with those police that uphold the law. But if, if a policeman kills when his life is not under threat and you can't be under threat when you're on top of somebody with their head down and their face in the ground. Since the Kent County Prosecutor's Office is handling the decision on whether to charge the officer, Sharpton has issues with that. So he's calling on the U.S. Justice Department to investigate the 26-year-old's death, saying, quote, we don't want local politics to compromise justice, end quote. Now, previously, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel said that she would be willing to handle the case if requested. In Grand Rapids, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. Certainly a tough day for so many and a lot of raw motion in Grand Rapids right now. Action News will continue to follow this case as it moves forward. Stay with us for all updates on air and online at WXYZ.com.